In this video, we will discuss the equipments required for a silkworm rearing. So under ideal conditions, silkworms complete the process of cocoon formation within 24 to 28 days after hatching. So uh, the rearing period for silkworms is almost a month. And during this rearing period, what are the equipments that are required? So first of all, it is a wire mesh. So silkworms are placed into the wire mesh trays where they will spin their cocoons. Next is formalin. Formalin is basically used to disinfect the rearing house immediately after the completion of rearing. And a sprayer. Sprayer is basically used to spray formalin. Next, mats are used and a leaf preservation chamber. So uh, leaves are basically harvested during morning hours and uh, uh, for the whole day, these are placed in leaf preservation chamber where these are kept cool and fresh. Next is the chopping board chopping knife. Chopping board is basically used to chop the leaves. So uh, uh, different sized leaves are required for different instar stages. So according to the instar stage, leaf uh, leaves are chopped on a chopping board with the help of a chopping knife. Next is uh, chopsticks. Chopsticks are basically the tapering bamboo rods that are used for picking the younger stages of larvae to ensure hygienic handling. Next are feathers. Burn feathers are basically used uh, for brushing the newly hatched worms to prevent injuries. Next is ant wells. Ant wells are basically used to stop ants from crawling onto the trays as ants are really very injurious or dangerous to the silkworms. Next are the foam pads. Foam pads are basically um, uh, soaked in water and uh, these are thick. So these are used to maintain humidity of the rearing bed. And uh, next is paraffin paper. Paraffin paper is also a thick crafted paper that is uh, coated with paraffin wax and it also prevents the withering of chopped leaves and maintain the humidity of rearing bed. Next is hygrometer that is used to measure the humidity of the rearing environment and thermometer is used to measure the temperature of the rearing environment. Next is bed cleaning net that is used to clean the rearing bed and plastic buckets or mugs and rearing stands, rearing trays in which the leaves and silkworms are placed. Next is a feeding stand and mount edges. Mount edges are basically uh, the devices that help and support the silkworm larvae uh, for a comfortable spinning of their cocoons or and it is also known as cocoonage.